Hi everybody, this is the Planet Earth here. I'm just going to go quickly go through this. I'm just going to quickly tell you how to get unlimited, non-tethered data to your computer, desktop, or laptop. This does not work for iMac, so if you're watching with, the, with an iMac product or an iPhone, this does not work for you. Click off this video. For Android users, which many of you are, maybe you have an Android device, you're going to get an unlimited data plan with T-Mobile. Preferably, call retention and ask for the lowest data. We already know that T-Mobile uh, throttles after the uh, data allotment of data. Um, I have, personally, a $45 plan with T-Mobile, which is a grandfather plan, so you know what happens with grandfather plans. I'm just going to quickly go through this because I don't want you guys waiting 20 minutes to figure out how to do one thing. So right now, I'm going to open up the uh, My T-Mobile account, and you'll see this part. This is ridiculous, because this never used to happen. I, I used to remember when it was in green. But now, they got a lot more strict and stuff like that. So, right now, I've used 14 gigabytes of data total. Now, through the Tethered application, um, I'm loading the account info now. Uh, it's data usage warning. That's ridiculous. It never used to say that. Anyways. I've already used my hotspot data. Look, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you the truth. Look, I've already used my five gigabytes of hotspot. So that means I'm slowed down, right? Not anymore, because it's real simple. Foxfy install. Get the key. It's like nine dollars, five dollars, unlimited, non-throttle data. All right. So now I'm going to show you my plan here. This is my plan. Ask for retention. Say you're going to cancel your account. Try to get it somewhat cheaper. This is my grandfather plan. You you will not see this. It is very rare. You can't even get this anymore. So if you want to buy my account, it's two hundred dollars. I'll sell it to you for none. Okay. So now, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your cell phone. You're going to go to your settings. You're going to go to about phone in Android. You're going to go to the build number, and until you click this until it says you are now a developer. Then you're gonna click one back and you're gonna click developer options. You're gonna go down and you're gonna click USB debugging. Make sure that is checked. This is an older phone but it works perfect. So now that that's checked, you're gonna install PDA Net on your cell phone. Right now I am actually tethered through T-Mobile. PDA Net, so google.com, PDA Net, okay? You're going to wait for it to load. PDAnet.co. This is the current website. In the future, it could be different. In the future, it may not even be supported anymore. Click download. Download the installer right here. Right there. Uh, right there. The installer right here. It'll download. Right now, I'm downloading through T-Mobile. Okay. I was supposed to be throttled at about 128 kilobits per second. Now, not anymore. Um, make sure USB debugging is on. Make sure you install the Foxfy application and the Foxfy key. Just buy the key. You'll be worth it. Make sure it's an Android device. Make sure USB debugging is turned on. Make sure you download the application from the, the, the website. Once you do that, you're going to go to here. Right now, it's, I'm actually connected. And you're going to click Hide Tether Usage. Click Level 1. Remember Level 1. Once you click Level 1 Hiding, look at this. I'm going to show you that websites load fast and that I can download fast. www.cnn.com. Let's see if it loads. Poof. No, my router is not on. Look. It's connected. No, I am not connected through uh, Ethernet. Well, it'll say Ethernet, but technically I'm actually connected through PDA Net. See how disconnected? So now I have no internet. Let me go to www.msn.com. Nothing. See? No internet. Now I'm going to reconnect to PDA Net. It'll say connecting to your phone. It'll say connected. Boom. There's the internet. No throttle. Now, how to do this even better? Okay, so now I'm going to show you that I can download a game with... Uh, uh, you know what? If it's unlimited data, why are they even throttling people? Especially in non-congested areas. It's not a big deal. I have home internet, but I get tired of seeing that throttle. And for some reason on iPads, um, even though I'm connected to the home internet, but when I connect it through this device, it doesn't slow down on the on the iPad. So I guess it makes it think it's like a cell phone or something. So the data is there for the tablet. Now, I'm going to show you Steam. Give an example. Let's go to Steam. 
Look how fast it loads. Boom, boom, boom. Let's download a game. We'll download Half-Life because I don't think there's going to be that many people. Right now it's at 500 megabytes. Give an example. Let's just see if it works. Okay, we're going to go ahead and install Half-Life here. Uh, manage downloads and we are downloading oh it's it's downloading right now at about 1.8 megabytes per second uh, 2 megabytes per second this is on T-Mobile I'll even type what is my ISP what is my IP so my IP is 172.126.141.246 let's see let's find out where that's from I don't know what this is what the fuck is... Yeah. Okay, that's correct. I, I live right in downtown Los Angeles. Okay, so, um... Let's see who the ISP is. Yeah, T-Mobile USA. See right there? T-Mobile USA. Okay, so now, downloading. Let's download it at 16 megabytes, but it does it in phases. Anyways, yes, you can download the games. I'll give you an example. Let me download the World of Warcraft client because Steam is very unreliable. Very unreliable. Steam is extremely unreliable. So let me go and download the World of Warcraft client. Extremely unreliable with downloading. So right now, I'm downloading the World of Warcraft client here right on the cell phone. You'll see the little bars are being used. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you'll see that the bar is being used. Okay, it's downloading World of Warcraft right now, and it's checking to see if there's viruses. Let's find out what's doing right now. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and click the installer. So it's starting battle.net. And this is bypassing your T-Mobile throttle and using the high-speed data like a cell phone, except it's on your desktop. It may be a little slow, but uh, it's not throttled speed. Give an example. Speed test. Uh, internet speed test. We're just typing speed test. Let's go to DSL reports now. Uh, my variety. Okay, yeah, this will be a good one. Start speed test. Okay, here we go. Alright, so this is a speed test for T-Mobile. And right now we're getting about 30 megabits a second. Look at that. And this is on the T-Mobile network. Non-throttled data on the desktop. So if you have a desktop, you have Windows, you're good to go. If you have Linux, no. If you have a uh, an iMac, no, this will not work. Upload should be around three to four megabits a second, 